at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me in this particular session we dive into an interview that looks at the entertainment uh, service industry which is very vast and most of the cases a reflection of our own society and there is money in this particular business. Joining me is two gentlemen from Unlimited Focus Media. I am joined by Cassenti and Stevenson. I'm so sure those are not like the no, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> the names yeah. of your ID. But starting from your side, Cassenti. So, uh, what's your names as by uh, you know identification card? Oh, okay, my name is <laughs> James Kamita Nyuto. Uh -huh. uh, my business name or brand name is Cassenti. Right. Yes, from Cassenti Production. Cassenti mm -hmm. Production is a company by itself. Mm -hmm. So I'm an audio producer, artist. An entrepreneur in the unlimited focus media right uh, in the company we Cassenti Productions. Okay, we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah you know what? Uh, right to you, Stevenson, right? Yes, yes. Your name as by identification, and what is your role uh, in unlimited focus media? Yeah, sure. My name is Stevenson Janga, mm -hmm. minor. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, I am. Uh, Film director, mm -hmm. content creator that is, mm -hmm. and also I am in the business and I'm also an artist. Okay, yes. yeah. So, guys, prior to us coming to you uh, to have this conversation, I had a brief uh, interaction with these two gentlemen, and they they do a lot in the entertainment industry. And we're just going to look at uh, a couple of things to engage into this particular business and how they're making money uh, in the entertainment service industry. So, starting off with you. Uh, Cassente, you mentioned earlier on about your own production. Let's start off from there and how you got into just merging and uh, to unlimited media, unlimited focus media. Because Stevenson, you also had your own company so prior. Cassente yeah. is my company, Cassente is his company. Okay, let's start off with your company and what it deals with, or and did you dissolve it, or is it actually still up and running? Uh, Cassente production is still up and running. We've decided to to join our companies together because we can uh, help each other. I can uh, I can do audios for him, he can do videos for my company. Uh, it's very easy. Then there's a, there's a chemistry between our companies. That's the best thing. Okay. Yeah. Right. One thing that cuts across, you guys are also artists. Yes, we are. <laughs> Okay, so back to Stevenson, right? Uh, you mentioned all that, all that you're a musician and uh, you're actually still an artist. Um, I'd like to find out earlier on while growing up, did you have uh, someone within your life that opened uh, a particular eye within yourself and made you actually realize that you can get into the entertainment industry and make a business out of it? I, I started as a musician mm -hmm. and uh, back then, uh, like seven years ago, when I started music, uh, I did my first song. Mm -hmm. Of course, I needed a video. And so when I went to someone and I told him, you know, I want a video of this song, so they charged me, they did me a video, but the video was not that good. <laughs> so I was like, I've really hustled and I've given you my money, mm -hmm. and this is what you can give me. So you are tamaking, getting airplays from TV stations, and they're like, no, what is this? Compare this and this, good quality and poor quality. So mm -hmm. I was like, one day I would wish to be a film director. Okay. But, you know, back then I was, I was, nilikuwa mm makanga. -hmm. I was a makanga. Mm -hmm. So I didn't, uh, I, the, my hustle couldn't allow me to get good money to do good music. And then I was like, now me, I'm not, I'm not educated. I've not gone to university to study these things. How will I ever become a film director? Okay. But later on, I, I got a friend of mine, uh, Aliko Paparazzi, who uh, took a picture. Then, I can't do it. So he started being a paparazzi, uko KU, took a picture, dogo kidogo, took a picture of Harusi. It was like for <coughs> the whole one week. It was a wedding. Yeah, Wahindi. <coughs> you know, Wahindi's wedding, is, it goes from Monday to Sunday. So the deal was there, but now you know me, I don't know how to hold it in the camera. But this guy was very confident. You guy, you're a go getter. We will do it, me mm. and you. We want money. Okay. We won't employ people from outside. Mm -hmm. So we went the first day. It was a struggle. The second day, that day. Mm -hmm. Before the fifth day, there were guys from Canada who were doing film, the same, same place. Mm -hmm. So they started training us. Okay. And even after the wedding, they took me, trained me, filmed. 
that is how I became a film director. So I normally direct my music videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I cannot do audio. Uh -huh. So Cassenti raised me musically because if you listen to those songs that I used to do before, Ato Tasamo Yama watch. Yeah, but there is a growth. Mm -hmm. He has took he has took me through that growth. Okay. And uh, that's why when my company stood, I just decided to work with him because mm -hmm. now he knows my weaknesses, he knows where I come from mm -hmm. to where I am now. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Santi, uh Stephen's gonna say that he played a very major role in his life when it comes to just nurturing his talent as an artist. Yeah. So, and also he mentioned something very important, like when starting off uh, as like a conductor, to the fact that he was thinking, I don't have good money to do like a good production, video production. How important is it when it comes to uh, in these businesses? Finances that really important and. What would you tell someone who's watching us and they feel like I'm talented in music, right? Yeah. I don't really have that money, so yeah. Um, nowadays it's very easy. Mm -hmm. It's not like uh, a while back where you didn't have access to information like YouTube and stuff. So the first thing I did it with him is develop his talent, mm -hmm. his singing capability. Mm -hmm. I guided him through the things he, he can do because nobody was born knowing anything. You just consume whatever uh, whatever environment you are in, That's so true. and then you're inspired by the people around you. Mm -hmm. So you might start when you're young, you might start when you're old, but mm -hmm. nothing is impossible if you really, really want it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the good thing is a very good listener. Mm -hmm. He loves to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, he used to sing. People used to laugh at him, like mm -hmm. we're on a talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he had that passion, so he developed his sound his voice mm -hmm. now he can i can probably say he can give you a pretty good performance all right how did you learn about audio production phase when it comes to your case my dad my dad taught us like uh, i'm born in a family of music mm -hmm. so I, I started developing music as at an early age mm -hmm. so my dad taught us keyboard but production mm -hmm. pretty much is self-taught through youtube mm -hmm. youtube university is the best mm -hmm. yeah okay. <laughs> yeah uh, so Stevenson, uh, but when we were having the the story, the wedding, you don't know how to hold the camera. So how did you get to the point where you can actually do uh, video production for other artists and also other entertainers? Uh, how did you learn, and how long did it take? So for me, I acted, I acted like I know. Mm. Yeah, it's just that dream, like you've been there. So after these guys from Canada taught me some few things within a duration of one month, mm -hmm. they left to their country. Mm -hmm. And so I joined YouTube as well, mm -hmm. trained myself, and uh, that is where I started doing some free jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I, I worked with Mr. T mm -hmm. in, the, in some, some services in churches and uh, many other places, and that is where I developed, you know, practice makes perfect. Yeah. So I, I practiced, and every time there is a software that is coming up, I train myself from YouTube, there are tutorials there. So those tutorials made me to become who I am today. What made you resilient and persistent and not giving up? It's because I never wanted to go to those roles anymore. Mm. I could rem remember, uh, there, there are those places when you, w w when you remember where you're coming from, mm -hmm. you just say, yeah, let me press on to this because I want to have something in the future to be more better than the way people knew me before. Okay. So, when I kumbuka when I I could not even think of sleeping. Mm -hmm. So every I, 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 I said it myself at the time. Mm -hmm. Like sa kumi usi kumi sa kwamka ku study. Naeka to bundles kwa sim machinda kwa tutorials with mm you -hmm. to study. Alright. Yeah. for you, you your father had a role when it comes to yeah. a huge role. Yes, it comes to you learning about production. So how long have you been into this business? Um, about 12 years, mm -hmm. yeah. 12 good years? Yeah. Okay. What were a couple of challenges that you faced uh, while starting off? Um, it's not easy. You have to really, 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 really like what you do. Uh, you have to put your heart in it. You have to develop that skill every day for people to start seeing what you have. Like when you see someone blowing up, you don't know what they've been doing to cultivate, uh, to, to get to where they are. I saw a video of Diamond the other day that I never saw. 
so that means you have to develop this thing for a long a very long period of time mm-hmm. even you i know you never just woke up and started this absolutely not yes so yeah. you have to develop it like you have to do it every day every day you have to put in the hours mm-hmm. i actually we actually started sleeping early like this year after all those years mm-hmm. So we never had time to sleep. Right. Yeah. And uh, it's quite uh, an impact having you over uh, to have this conversation for being in the game for 12 years. Then you have young people out here who are like, uh, they see the buzzing uh, entertainers uh, online due to social media. They feel like, you know, I want to be rich as soon as tomorrow. You get So they end up doing unnecessary things or getting, self- get themselves into unnecessary stuff. What would be your advice? someone who is young and they want to be probably millionaires by 30 they even have their their goals by 25 they should be you know living this lifestyle um number one it's a process they should um, they should uh, take their time to develop that skill Mm -hmm. then link up with people look for people who have the same thing you want if they ignore you go to another person you might find out your solution is around you mm-hmm. never ignore any person mm-hmm. treat everyone with respect because you never know who that person is going to be tomorrow mm-hmm. uh, and maybe the person you go ignoring today might have the key for your future tomorrow mm-hmm. like where you want to go all right. Yeah. all right so let's look at unlimited uh, focus media so looking back what was the inspiration starting this company and uh, what are the advantages of operating as a company compared to Stevenson Akenda, a particular project or an event? Oh, sure. Uh, Unlimited Focus is uh, based in uh, no limit. There is no limitation, there is nothing impossible. Because uh, when I look at my background and all those processes that I've gone through, and your story, I, see, yeah. I see an inspiration. Mm-hmm. So the word itself unlimited is an inspiration to me and it, 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 it creates an opportunity for me when I wake up and I see I don't have a camera. I say I'm not limited. I can get it. I can go and hire somewhere and do a good job and that mm-hmm. job pays me. I get a new camera, a good one. And that is what I do. So I say I, I don't limit myself in anything. Even if today I get a, a one million project because they normally come. I say, I'm not limited, I will do it. I will not go and hire a retreat people. I will do it. Unless I go and acquire some knowledge from them that I don't know, they come sit under me, they show me, and then they leave and I do my job. Mm. So I'm not limited. And that's why, that is the source of my, my inspiration from, uh, from, from the word unlimited. Oh, okay. Yes. For how long have you been operating? This is the fourth year. The fourth year, okay. The fourth year. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and uh, more so many people who have uh, made my company grow, they are the influencers. I've worked with different influencers, I've raised influencers. Okay, well, they mentioned a couple of influencers I've worked with. At the moment I'm working with Henry Desago, mm-hmm. and I've worked with Aziad in mm-hmm. a certain advert. Mm-hmm. I've worked with uh, some guys from Real House of Kawangwara and many others. Okay, so a couple of good names there when it comes to content creators. Sure. <laughs> well, so, Kasente, uh, when it comes to offering value to your clients, how do you ensure that you actually give value to, to their money when they come to you, when they ask for audio uh, production, video production, uh, considering that you have so many production companies? Um, first, uh, we really, really want to know what you need from us. Because when you come to us, you believe in what you're going to give you now we want to know your vision so if you know your vision we'll be able to deliver something for you mm-hmm. if we notice some weaknesses in what you need we mm-hmm. will advise accordingly mm-hmm. if it's vocal coaching if it's uh, songwriting uh, anything that will make you look better the end product is more important to us mm-hmm. than than the process itself <coughs> mm-hmm. yeah Okay, so before we go ahead, uh, let's check out a couple of uh, projects that you guys have done. Sure. And uh, starting us off is one of the content creators, Henry Disagos.